Section 41, graphing quadratic functions in standard form. The standard form for quadratics is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And each of these terms has drastic effects, uh, affects the parabola that's formed. Early on, we're going to do just parts of this formula. Let me show you how that part is graphed. And we'll add each, each of the other terms to it to show you how it can change the graph around. This is known as the parent form, and it's simply y equals x, I'm sorry, y equals x squared. So if you have zero for x, zero squared is zero. If x is one, squaring one, you got one. Two is also going to be what would be four, and three would be nine. So that's going from zero in a positive direction. If we try some negative values, I'm going to put them right side of these. If I have negative one, you square number negative one, you get positive one. If you square negative 2, you get positive 4. If you square negative 3, you get positive 9. So you see you get the, similar, you get the same values going up the y-axis um, as you go up x positive or x negative. So let's go graph 1. Now, as I said earlier, we're just going to graph parts of the form. Again, here's the entire form, x squared plus bx plus c. We're just going to do this, focus on this part right now, the a and the x squared. <clears throat> Our example, for example, 1 as a 2x squared. So we have a table and just fill the values in. 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. Likewise, negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2, can be repeated. Negative 2 squared is positive 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So you can see the symmetry around this vertex point. And graphing that quickly, we'll just start with uh, 0, 0, uh, 1, 2 and 2, 8. There's 2, 2, 4, 6, 8. And I like to mirror these across. Since this is the axis symmetry here around the y axis, there's a vertex. I'm one away at this point, go one over that way. Two away from the axis symmetry, two this way. And best that you can, I'm not very good at this myself, draw your graph, or your parabola. Next example, we're going to throw at us now the C of, from the standard form. Again, the standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. ax squared is just going to change the shape of our parabola vertex at the origin. It's going to get you know, wider or narrower based upon the number in the front. The C is going to move the vertex up and down the y-axis. So it's pretty easy to do. Okay, here, let's do an example. Again, here's our equation. Here's the ax squared, which is negative 1 half x squared, plus 3. That's the c. Again, there's no b yet for these. Putting the values from the table into the graph. And as you'll see some more of these. When you have a half, try to use you know, even numbers like 2, 4, 6. You have a 3, go like 0, 3, 6, 9. Because otherwise you get decimals and fractions. A little tougher to graph those. So 0 squared is 0. Now plus 3, so I have 3 half, not at the origin. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. It's negative 2, plus a 3 is just 1. 4 squared is 16. Half of 16 is 8. It's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. And very quickly, if I go this way, negative 2 squared is still going to be 4, like this one was. Divided by 2, it's going to be the same answer. So 1 and negative 5. And now I can graph these in our graph. So 0, 3. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3. And they can go out to 2 and positive 1. Everything starts from the origin. Uh, it's over 2, up 1, over 4, and down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, axis of symmetry is the y axis. I can just go to this point and mirror across down here, and 1, 2, 3, 4, and we can draw the graph. All right, good luck.